Welcome to another training session of the Somatic Manager and WinCC. In today's session, we are going to see how we can program an HMI and connect it to a Siemens PLC. Before going further into today's tutorial, I would request you guys to please subscribe to stay connected with me and to get the notifications, please press the bell icon. As you can see that we have a network and in this network we have a push button and a LED and if we turn on this push button it will turn on this LED so how we can mimic this push button and LED on the HMI first of all we will open our WinCC flexible software and here we will create a new project we'll click on the next button and from these three dots, we will select our HMI. And for the today's session, we will select this 10 inch KTP 1000 basic DP HMI. And this HMI will be connected to this S7 300 or 400 PLC via IF1B protocol. Next. We will disable the default settings, header and alarm window we don't need for now. We'll click on this finish button. Now this is the start screen for the HMI and it already is showing some, some alarm window. Now to disable this one, we will go to the template and delete this screen. We will come back to the start screen and here we will go to the switch. We will drag and drop a switch here. And if we go it to... Okay, before doing anything here, we have to make a connection between HMI and a PLC. We will go to this communication menu and go to the connections. And here we have already have a connection one with S7 300 400 PLC. And these are the default settings. We can change these uh, network settings or PLC addresses as per our requirement. Next, we will go to the tags menu. Now, here we have created two tags one for the push button and one for the LED. We'll double click on the name and it will create a tag. Now we can give it a push button and data type as boolean. For the address, we will drag this and from this menu, we will select the memory and memory by 10 and bit 0. And now we have created a tag which is push button and its address is M10.0. Next, we will double click here again and we can give it LED. And by default, it is linked with the next next bit of MB10 byte, which is MB10.1. Now we have created these two tags. Now we can come back to our start screen. I will select this button and here we will go to the events. And we will select this switch on. So when this button switched on, it should set a bit. And the bit is push button and 10.0. Next is the switch off an event. So here we will select a reset bit and select this push button and 10.0. So when we turn on this switch, it will set this push button bit. And when we turn off this switch, it will reset push button bit. Next, we can draw a circle here to indicate LED. We will go to its animations and select appearance. And from this drop down menu, we will link a tag of LED. And our LED is a bit, so we will select the type as a bit. Bit have two conditions, 0 or 1. 
means off and on. So for the foreground color, we will select this dark green. And when the LED is on, we will select this bright green color. So our LED is also connected to the tag. Now we will save this one. We can actually simulate our HMI runtime as well. Now we minimize and bring our logic on the top as you can see there. If we click on this button, you can see this bit is set and it had turned on this LED M10.1 and it turned to the bright green. Now if we click on this one again and then release this switch. You can see this contact opens and turned off this LED and this also turns off. So this is how to connect HMI with the 7300 or 400 PLC using WinCC software. In the next videos, we will try to mimic more complex applications on the HMI. Please stay connected for the upcoming videos and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Till next time, take care. Goodbye.